Hey, seventh grade, Miss Fleming here again to practice more math with you on this lovely, I say lovely jokingly because it's cold again, um, but it's Friday, so that's the thing. So your IXL assignment for today was R11, which is multiply using the distributive property. So without further ado, when you distribute, you're just sharing out your number you're distributing it like giving it out like i would distribute cookies you distribute the three to the four and the other three what that means in this case is we're multiplying so we'll multiply three times four d and then three times three so three times four is 12 we have to keep that variable and then three times three is nine so this is simply 12 d plus nine again uh, eight times one is eight. Oh, it's not typing. Eight times one is eight times one is eight. We are doing some addition in there. Eight times five is 40. So it's 40 V. It should not matter what order you put the equation in as long as you have the correct, um, if it's positive or negative. Three times seven is 21. Don't forget that M. Three times two is six. 2 times 2 is 4, 2 times 1 is 2, so we just keep our 2F. 3 times 8 is 24, don't forget that variable. 3 times 3 is 9. 2 times 5 is 10, don't forget the variable. Uh, I'm going to do it a different way though. 14, 2 times 7 is 14, minus 10S because we did two times seven, oopsies, and then two times 10. So 14 minus 10 s. We have negative three times negative four, which gives us a tw positive 12, don't forget that B. And then we have negative three and a subtraction, so that's going to turn into a positive number, so it's going to be 12 B plus six. Four times negative three is negative 12. And then we are adding four times two is eight W. Don't forget those variables. I'll do a couple more here. Five times negative seven is negative 35 plus five times four is 20. Don't forget your variable. And five times negative six is negative 30 plus five times two is 10. Don't forget your variable. One more. Negative three times negative two is positive six. Don't forget that variable. Um, but we do have a negative times a positive, which is going to be negative. So we can just say it's subtraction. Eight times three is 24. All right, hope this helps you guys. It's pretty simple. You're just distributing the four to the number, or the outside number to the number inside in the parentheses. If you have any questions, let me know. If not, Hope this helps.